So this is some interesting code, and uh, we'll just walk through it. Starting in main, first thing we do is we hit the function gen. Gen is going to return a channel that uh, you can only pull ints off of. And so we're going to make a channel uh, that, you know, is for ints. And then there's a loop here, and every time we loop, we launch a go routine. So we're going to launch 100 go routines. And in each go routine, we're putting a one onto the channel. And then we're returning that channel, and then we're passing the channel in to receive. And receive, uh, you know, as a parameter, requires, takes a channel that you can only pull ints off of. And uh, we're going to range over C, and we're going to get the value, and then print out that value. Um, and so why is it that we're getting you know 100 just a whole bunch of times um, because this should run until everything is pulled off and then it will exit and then the program will exit and here we say loop variable i captured by func literal and so this is um, the problem with this is that we haven't scoped i so this i here and this i are in different go routines and what that means is that um, you know, these go routines are going to be launched off into lines, uh, different threads, and uh, different go routines. And then this one is, you know, it's still going to be referencing this, which will be in a different go routine. And so you've got the same variable in multiple go routines. And it's one of the axioms of Go is to communicate and not to share. So here we're sharing a variable. And I could change that by passing i in. And I could say here that, so when I call that function, I'm going to pass in i. And I could say that this takes an int, and so I can make that int whatever I want to be, and I'm going to pull that int off. And so every time I launch a go func, I'm passing in one, right, because here's the function, and right there's the function, sort of like this is a func that takes an int. Here I'm calling the function, and I'm passing an int, and then here I'm launching it into a go routine. So the int that's getting passed in is each iteration, and now this variable that used to be i is no, and now is n in, this n is no longer connected to that i. So now when I run this, right, we, uh, we get it all kind of pointing out. And all go routines are asleep deadlock. So that's a different issue to solve. I'm going to let you solve that and uh, uh, leave it here for you to work on. Hit me back up if you're stuck.